comrades. Commissar Bro here today with Warhammer 40,000 Eternal Crusade. Now, this isn't the first time I've played this game. I've actually been playing on off uh, since the third or second wave of Founders Axis. I don't remember which one. Now, as a forewarning, this game takes some pretty hefty requirements playing on the Unreal en uh, Engine 4. So, I'm going to be honest with you, this may not be the best quality video you've ever seen in your life, but I'm primarily doing this as at least showing that I am playing the game, I am familiar with it. I'm not the best, you know, there's, there's better, most certainly, but I'm quite enjoying my time with it so far. And if you hear airplanes in the background, there are most certainly F-16s flying over my house. So, just ignore that. But anyway, let's take a look at the loadouts. Yeah, that's right. You can actually edit loadouts, change what different pieces are going on and whatnot. So instead of this bolt gun, I could be like, hmm, I don't want a bolt gun. Instead, I would rather use a storm bolter or a stalker bolter or plasma gun. Or a melter gun. Yeah, that's right. So you got a whole bunch of different uh, weapons you can use just for the the basic tactical marine class. You've got a couple of different melee weapons for the tac marine. You've only got a hardened combat knife and a regular combat knife. Secondary weapons again. You've got a bolt pistol or a smart bolt pistol. The smart bolt pistol basically can auto lock in a sense. So yeah, yeah. Then you've got consumable items that can be used. Let's see what we got for the tap marine. We got frag grenades, we got crack grenades, we got melta bombs. Yeah, that's right. Mm, now I kind of want to test out that melta bomb. Look at that anti fortification explosive charge that can only be thrown a short distance but deals a huge amount of damage. I have never actually used one of those, but that sounds super legit. Anyway, let's take a look at some other classes. You've got the devastator. A devastator as you quite, uh, quite can imagine, is pretty much the dude who lays down some serious firepower, whether it be through a heavy bolter, a las cannon, or a plasma cannon. A lot of people argue that the las, uh, sorry, that the plasma cannon is a little bit OP, but I mean, I don't think so. I think everything's dodgeable. <laughs> you just gotta dodge it. It is pretty cool though. These are ba they basically operate like mortar rounds. Like you fire them and then they arc and they can be shot over obstacles and stuff like that. And they're pretty much a, like a one to two shot kill depending on uh, where you hit your opponent. So if you have like three people with plasma cannons, you're going to do some serious work. Now a heavy bolter is cool because it lays down suppression. So basically if you've got an enemy in cover further down the range and you're shooting at him with the heavy bolter his camera will kind of start moving in a circular motion and it makes it like impossible for him to be able to shoot at you and hit you accurately it's great for suppressing tac marines and the such like that but see it also does enough damage that you know you can shoot down like assault marine uh, like jump pack assault marines which we're about to look at now yeah, that's right. You've got assault marines. Yeah, yeah, check these dudes out with the jump packs on the back. Which actually in this game, unlike like how Space Marine was. Space Marine, you go up in the jump pack and then you would basically come right back down. In this game, you can actually hover. And some people argue that you can you can hover indefinitely. Um, like basically just by adding a little bit of space bar every time, just be like space bar, space bar. So it kind of just keeps you up in the air and moving. Now for weapons on the, the assault marine, I mean, there's really not much. Again, you've got the bolt pistol, but the melee weapons is where it's at, man. You've got the chainsaw, yeah, iconic, badass tearing into the flesh of your opponents and completely wrecking their face. And then you've got the Power Axe. The Power Axe, like most powered weaponry in Warhammer, is more anti-vehicle focused. Like, it can pretty much slice through any armor and just wreck shit. This, chain swords tend to be good against, like, lightly armored opponents. I mean, you could still use it against an armored opponent, like a Space Marine, and bring him down. 
but they're better against fleshy opponents because they just rip, they, they latch on and they rip into flesh. So yeah, and then you've got the Power Sword. It's similar to the Power Axe. I think it's just a little bit faster, but I mean, they're pretty much the same as far as it goes. And then you have the Almighty Power Fist. That's right. This one is a massive anti-fortification melee weapon. It's slow as balls. I mean, this thing is so slow. It is hard to get a kill with the Power Fist, if you ask me. But it deals such a huge amount of force, like it's pretty much like a one to two hit kill every time with this thing. Whereas like the chain sword's about three, uh, or no, 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 sorry, the power sword's about three, I think, and the power axe is three, and I think the chain sword's about four hits uh, as it stands today. You Again, you've got r roughly the same type of uh, consumables. I'm surprised they don't have melted bombs as well, but yeah, it is what it is. You've got meta packs, you've got a repair kit, ammo pack, and advanced meta pack right now. Again, this is still very early access, and this game is nowhere near being finished. So there will be more items added in as time goes on. And then you've got the apothecary. Yes, your medics. And what kind of weapons have they got on the apothecary? I actually don't know. Okay, basically just a, just a regular bolt gun. Nice little bolter. And I imagine, yep, just the regular bolt pistols. And the Nothesium, which is essentially what heals people in this game. This is also, for those of you who like the Warhammer lore, it's what they use to extract the gene seed from a fallen uh, space marine. Yeah, that's right. I know my stuff. And what consumables can you have? Of course, frag grenades, crack grenades. That's nice. That's nice. Um, it's in the Nartesium vial. So that's all you can really have with the Apothecary. A lot of people like playing medics, though, which I'm cool with. A lot of people in the beta right now aren't very good with medics, mind you, but hopefully they'll get better as time goes on. All right, let's take a look at the final class, which is Assault Ground. I absolutely, downright love this class. This class is so effing cool. It's like, if, 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 if you're a fan of the Black Templars... Your dream is realized with Eternal Crusade. This is the first time I've ever actually played a Warhammer game where you have a full-on melee class that you can play as in a first-person or third-person shooter-esque thing. You've even got the Storm Shield. It's so great. It's pretty much... It says it provides a huge amount of armor to the front. It pretty much makes you impenetrable. At, at be, being attacked in the front. Now, this doesn't mean you can't die, because you will still die if you're fighting someone who knows how to shoot you. For example, although the storm shield is gigantic and covers you from pretty much, like, your, your, from this area up, you can still get shot in the legs and you can die. You can still be flanked. You can still be killed. So, it is in your best interest to not just charge out and be a gigantic open target. That's right. But... You've also got a melee weapon. Oh, yes. Yeah. The power sword, the chain sword, the power axe, or the power fist. Now, I uh, i don't know. I don't think the power fist is very good with this class from what I've played so far. But then again, maybe I'm just a noob. Yeah, because I tried doing this little combination here of a power fist and a storm shield, and it's just so slow it does not work against trained opponents. People who've been playing it will make you look stupid. That's right. Needless to say, this is my favorite class, the Ground Assault class. I love this. It's so cool. Um, and you can even add a couple of consumables in there, like a grenade, which you, I would highly suggest you have a grenade. <laughs> or something, a gr like just anything to give you a slight advantage against the people you're going to be fighting. So yeah. I'm not going to show any gameplay this time. I'm mostly just going to talk about the classes, and hopefully this video turns out alright. If not, oh well, I'll show gameplay next time. But, for those of you who actually enjoy Warhammer 40,000, who enjoy shooters, and uh, who've always wanted to play as the equivalent of a Black Templar, this is the game for you. Now again, the Black Templars are not in the game yet. They will be added later, dear comrades. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah, so you can actually don the attire of a Black Templar brother with the power sword and the storm shield and slay the opponents of mankind. It'll be delicious. 
But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, just giving you a quick overview of like the different classes that are currently available in the early access of Eternal Crusade. And honestly, I hope you guys pick this up, and I hope to see people on the battlefield. I especially want to see my comrades on here, because we could totally make like a Space Marine clan, like make our own little sub-chapter, and it would be great. I would be so happy, and we could do so many evil things to the Chaos Space Marines. Yeah, that's right. Purge the mutant, the heretic, and the Xenost for the Emperor, and all that good stuff. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, and I'll see you guys next time.